Hi Mishka. Today is December 2nd, 2017, and I am, I am out of breath. I am out of breath because I've just had to climb five flights of stairs to get to my flat. Um, because the lift has been out in my building since Tuesday night when it collapsed with two people inside and we made emergency phone calls that night. Um, I actually had it collapse and it's now Saturday and we are still, we're still without a lift. Um, so my week has been screwed over. Um, I've had to cancel a speaking engagement for the Women's Equality Party. Um, I missed a job interview. I've not been able to leave my flat unless I'm willing to go up and down by flight of stairs. Um, and yesterday, a bunch of us got angry and we were told by Yvonne Rose at Guinness, who manages the property, that we can try and get someone out tonight, but, um, really we've been trying along all week and there's been sick lift, there's been a sick lift operator, but we are trying. Five days. Five days not being able to leave my flat without getting a severe cardiovascular workout. Um, now maybe it's a good time to say that people with cerebral palsy have reduced lung capacity because <laughs> we don't have the privilege God, I'm hot. We don't have the privilege of running around when we're children and um, expanding our lungs that way. So, um, I'm really, this, in my mind, this is no longer an inconvenience. This is actually a human right situation and a political situation um and i understand that everyone has their job to do but this is about my mobility and it's about the mobility of everyone in this building um part of the remit for hill who are the property um people that built this building part of the limit was that they were supposed to build a set of accessible flats to improve the availability of uh, housing for disabled people in central london they did that all the accessible flats are on the first floor. There is actually a, um, two lifts that go from the ground floor to the first floor. The emergency lift is working, but, um, to my knowledge, nobody with a physical disability moved into those flats that were meant for people with disabilities. In fact, many of the people who moved into those flats who are able-bodied then gutted the entire flat. So the accessible features that were built in the flat um, are no longer available. 
So now, although Hill built accessible flats, they aren't accessible anymore because private residents who have every right to do so decided that they needed to use that space to suit their needs. So it was a nice corporate box taking exercise. And now the flats that are supposed to be wheelchair accessible in this building, there's at least less of them if they haven't disappeared completely. And finally, all of those flats are only one bedroom. So if you need a carer to live with you, or you are disabled and have a family, you can't live in those flats either. So, aren't we glad that Hill was able to, you know, check a few boxes and pretend that they were doing the right thing, but then ultimately not follow through and leave a legacy for housing people with disabilities. So, because I need a live-in care, and because I am planning on having a family one day, I couldn't move into an accessible flat. So I live on the fifth floor, which means right now I am currently leaving my 30,000 pound wheelchair on the first floor in a public hallway, which is a fire hazard. But right now, that's the least of our work. Um, for the public to mingle, if it seems fit, I trust my neighbors greatly. But it is disturbing to have to leave one's mobility into the care of others. Um, and I am either walking or crawling up and down the four flights of stairs to get to my flat. And then these stairs in my own flat because there's not a second lift. Um, cause all the disabled people were supposed to stay in their place on the ground floor. And then this wouldn't be an issue. I bought my flat in, um, April. I bought it. Um, I bought it with the understanding that Guinness and Hill and Stannis, who are the lift operators, um, would have a duty of care to maintain the lift. And the lift in my building has been out nearly every month I live here. And that's unacceptable. And the fact that it collapsed with Two women inside on Tuesday, and here is on Saturday, and it still isn't fixed. I'm really, really aggravated, and I'm really disappointed. In addition to Hill and Guinness, there's a third party that is at fault here, and that is the Lyft Company. Stannis Lift. Lift companies need to stop treating their services like it is a luxury. With the amount of people with disabilities, with the amount of people that have prams and buggies, with the amount of people that are elderly and dependent on these lifts, Stan lift companies such as Stannis need to step up to the plate and 
realize that they actually are dealing with medical equipment. They are in the business of securing my mobility in my human life. And having to wait five days for a part, probably going to be closer to seven at this point since this noon on Saturday, um, is completely a human right violation. It is. Mobility is a human right. Um, and they have not the number of times that I have heard that people have had to wait weeks to fix a lift because they had to order a part is completely disgusting. It's a lift. It did two jobs. Go up, go down. Okay? There's been this technology for over a hundred years. Thomas Jefferson actually invented the dumb reader back in 1700, okay? And that's one of my countrymen. So, this technology has been around for a very long time. And I don't get what the problem is, actually. You are ensuring people's mobilities. You have a duty of care and a moral obligation to make sure that that is strong, stable, consistent, and reliable. So I'm not impressed at all. I'll let you know how this goes. I'm planning a series of phone calls for a Monday morning for Guinness. Um, and Yvonne Rose to deal with since she assured me that this would be fixed back on Friday, and it's not. That's all I got for you today, Mishka. You are loved. You are precious. You can be multitude. And by golly, you have the right to get out of your house when you want. We all do. We need to suck it up and start realizing that that is a basic human right and take responsibility when that right is jeopardized.